What's up, guys? It's Jay. More than after kill. And I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And ever since Gearbox has released the trailer for the Borderlands live action movie last month, the internet's reaction and subsequent backlash against Gearbox once again taken a huge steaming pile on the face of their only successful franchise has a lot of Borderlands fans scratching their heads wondering if Gearbox is actively trying to kill the franchise with only 3,000 daily player logins on both Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 3 with even less than that on their most recent outings, Wonderlands, and New Tales. The Borderlands fandom is in need of some actual, factual fan service. But in true Gearbox fashion, we get Kevin Hart casted as Roland, who's tinier than a teenage girl playing a character named Tiny Tina. <laughs> now, I, I understand that a Borderlands movie doesn't need to be a one-to-one -one, shot for shot recreation of the Borderlands games. But when it comes down to basic logic, when casting the characters we're seeing on screen, I, I don't think that we're asking for too much when we say make it make sense. <laughs> but when it comes to making sense of Gearbox's decisions, you're asking for the sensible from a company that historically is known for making non-sensible decisions over the years. Like making a $150 million live action movie. Really? I'm going to get naked on a fucking $150 million fucking movie. Maybe. No. Maybe. No. Was it part of the role? No. There was nothing in it. There was, I was wearing armor. With at least $75 million of that wrapped up in the awful casting of characters we've seen. From big names that aren't really well suited for their roles. When Gearbox has been sitting on a team of capable animators that could have produced an animated version of Borderlands for probably one-tenth of the $150 million budget. And they could have used actual voice actors from the series and gained back some of the consumer goodwill that they've been bleeding out over the last past five years. Very similar to what we've seen CD Projekt Red accomplish with the Cyberpunk Edge Runner movie leading into the Cyberpunk 2.0 overhaul and DLC release. They could have done the same thing this year going into Borderlands 4. And what you've been seeing on screen for the last few minutes or so is an actual animation that Gearbox created for the opening sequence of Battleborn, giving the players a brief synopsis of the story before beginning the campaign. You're treated to an 80s Voltron-esque style animation that's honestly the best thing about Battleborn. But since it's also drawn by Gearbox and using their character design, it still holds a very striking resemblance to the Borderlands franchise. And it's not hard to imagine this style of animation being lent to the Borderlands franchise 
for a full length animated feature. And with the recent success of the Spider Verse series and Studio Ghibli's The Boy and the Heron winning an Oscar this year, it seems like an animated Borderlands would have been better received by not only the Borderlands fandom, but regular average moviegoers who are looking for newer and different experiences after suffering superhero Avengers Guardian of the Galaxy sewer side squaddish fatigue over the last past decade. And, and it's a, a shame to see Gearbox sitting on such a talented animation team and not be given the keys to create an animated feature. So, my name is Jay, more than Afterkill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and really thumb up on the video. I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers to watch my motherfucking videos. And I, I, I'm willing to bet that a lot of you watching this right now are like, wait a minute, Gearbox made this? This literally looks like something that I would have watched growing up on a Saturday morning in the living room while eating my cereal. And, and, and in all honesty, if Gearbox had released like little five minute animations like this, leading into Battleborn's release, sort of like what Blizzard did with Overwatch to establish to the fandom who these characters are and what they're trying to accomplish in this series, and not launch the game in the same fucking week as Overwatch, Battleborn's life cycle could have gone a lot differently. But, like I said earlier in the video, <laughs> When it comes to making sense of Gearbox's decisions, we are asking for the sensible from a company known for making non-sensible decisions over the years. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. My name's Jay, more than after kill. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later. Are descending. If it goes down, it's up to us to stop in trees. This is the last chance to form an alignment and shorten the distance to the plan. Wish we had a fortune tell a crystal ball in hand. Cause can't see in the dark, not even retina the scan. Deep in the future, we dig a hold of the prospect. Something toxic got in before an object. War and problems, we gotta get over. This affects the whole. We can't split soldiers. The last remaining. If we stop fighting each other, we might actually save it. It's difficult when we're all apart. What's happening to the star? The star is... Sensors indicate... Oh, how the hell should I know? How often do you break the laws of physics in a given afternoon? <sighs> oh, sh**. It can't be. Are we too late? Saving the world? Something like that. We're tracking down the last of Rindane's lieutenants. But. Andy? Still with me? Hmm. It's a beautiful day. What news from Bliss? Oh, you know, not great. Ran into another portal bloom. Probably gonna die. Get all that? Naturally! I'm a boy!
Mundane's defeated, and Solus is safe. For the moment. But this war may never end. Triumph brought us time, not peace. The Varelsi may never relent, and neither will we. Robot stand guard. Whoever got the capital, they selling them all. They kick back, living large off of ours. But the larger they are, the larger the barrage. With the folks from the underbelly, freedom is valued more than anything they sell me. Blowing back bigger foes that attack, loaded strap. Focus the blast, banding together we see the doom Creeping through, make them play a different tune Musical chairs, switch up teams of pairs On malicious and sentiments, how much we care No, not a lot, to be free, gotta think out the box Outline the plot, use cunning, won't be shot Space, we continue to fight on And right the wrong, just to keep the lights on May our battle never end